Should you enter a fist fight, guards will not interfere, but drawing your weapon will turn them hostile. Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Uh, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sade. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies. All pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard? Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malak retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. structures to gain a bird's eye view of your surroundings. Tall buildings can be used to orient yourself when moving through a city. Safety and peace, Malik. Word that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Mualim has marked Mejduddin for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader, and Mejduddin has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. 
He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your prey. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of you. There are two locations that might interest you. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. You are not supposed to be here, Lee. Ah! Spend your time teaching Phil. Flash for me. There's nowhere to run, old man. <laughs> It's forbidden for you to be here. <laughs> Who could have done such a thing? So we murdered you again, Grandmaster. Safety and peace. I'm so glad to see you. In these troubled times, they ask me to prove myself. But I feel so inadequate when I compare myself to you. I must kill two of Mujduddin's men without a fight. Could you show me the way? I will be forever grateful and share a very interesting story with you. I beg of you. My family is sick and dying. Could you spare a few coins? Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. <laughs> You are the best the clan has ever seen. Here is my story, Master. I was cleaning the temple steps. I overheard two scholars praising how easy it was for them to pass the soldiers guarding the entrance of the execution plaza. If you time your entry properly, they could provide a nice distraction for the guards. But I am sure that with your wisdom, you knew that already. Damned archers, we are to launch an assault against one of Medjduddin's lieutenants. But we cannot do anything until the rooftops have been cleared. And I have no men to spare. Would you be willing to help? Just make sure they do not see you coming, or we will have to begin again. I need to speed him. <laughs> 